Well, we're an environmental NGO and our goals revolve around a stable climate for the world, rich natural environments and also human development. And countries like South Africa, countries that have a lot of development in front of them, are largely going to determine how successful we are on those three metrics, on human development, on stable climate change and on rich nature. South Africa's got a huge energy future in front of it. It has a huge need for new energy capacity and we need that to help bring people out of poverty and the type of energy South Africa decides to use from here is going to be hugely, hugely influential on the quality of our global environment and the quality of South Africa's natural environment. There are plans for a nuclear sector in South Africa or the expansion of the existing nuclear sector in South Africa. We see that as a hugely beneficial opportunity to provide South Africa with the energy that it needs for development to provide a reliable, stable base for a strong economy in South Africa, to raise people out of poverty and to keep greenhouse gas emissions as low as possible. We think that's vitally important and we'd love to see countries like South Africa look at all of these energy options in a really objective way and come to that best mix of clean energy for development. There's going to be a really big role for renewable energy in South Africa. I think it's evident like in my home in South Australia, that solar PV will play a big role. However, with energy sources that are variable based on weather and climatic conditions, and they're also what we call asynchronous sources, which means that they don't quite provide the sort of system stability and frequency control of traditional energy sources. As the penetrations of those energy sources get high, the stability and security of the system really gets low. It gets very difficult to provide a reliable baseload source and very difficult to run a secure energy market. So as we see it, there's a right blend of renewable and nuclear technology everywhere in the world. That blend is going to vary depending on what the indigenous renewable resources are like. In South Africa, you have quite a strong solar resource, quite a good wind resource. You have quite a weak hydroelectric resource, for example. These things vary. So there's going to be a right level of penetration. Keeping that penetration uh, at some sort of a moderate level, maybe it's 15% of total supply, maybe it's 30, which would mean a much bigger renewable sector in South Africa than today. So I think there's a lot of growth to come in renewables. Allows you to balance out the need for a supply system that is clean, that is affordable, and that is also reliable. Nuclear energy for us provides that energy source that meets that triple challenge the, the most comprehensive way possible. It is clean, it produces no greenhouse gas emissions from electricity generation, it produces no particular pollution from electricity generation and it uses a really dense energy source and it uses seawater so it doesn't provide stress on inland water systems. So it's a really clean energy source. It's an incredibly reliable energy source and it's an affordable energy source. So it provides a technological option that lets fast-growing large countries like South Africa develop a strong economy without making the error that a country like Australia has made of being completely dependent on fossil fuels, which is driving climate change. Nuclear technology helps us break that link and enable that human development, that economic development, without driving these damaging environmental processes. So we think it's an absolutely crucial technology to meet the challenges of this century. I think I should be very clear, nuclear can be affordable provided you do the processes correctly. Nuclear uh, procurement programs, nuclear development needs to run and operate exactly like any other industry. It needs to be transparent, it needs to be genuinely globally competitive with globally open tenders. If you do that, nuclear can be extremely cost competitive. If you get the right level of competition from different providers, a really good cost outcome can arrive. Now the cheapest level, the cheapest type of any electricity to get, to just get a kilowatt hour of electricity, would be from a PV system. But if you tried to run a whole country on just solar PV, you'd have an extraordinarily expensive system in managing the variability and the instability. Nuclear power, provide, under a good competitive tender, provides a well-priced source of really reliable supply that's scalable to the needs of a big growing country like South Africa. It provides that reliable base of support so that you can get industrial investment, commercial investment, boost your agricultural sector, boost your water supply from desalination, boost your manufacturing sector and provide jobs for your large body of labour that at the moment can't find a role in the economy. That's the sort of role that nuclear can, can provide underpinning it. And you can get a good affordable outcome provided you get competition into the picture. That's absolutely crucial.